Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses for the continuation of Our Fall the Republic 1.3 playthrough as the CIS. In the last episode, the Republic decided to be real mean about uh, Deco Neomoidia, but we're going to take it back because I don't want them to have it. So we're going to go back up here. So we're going to go up here. You can't invade Praesitlin either. I, I mean, you can. I'm not going to stop you, probably. But, I mean, I can't. I could stop you. I could try to stop you. Are any of these named? No, none of these are named. But they... Hmm. You know what? Let's let's see what, what happens. I I just don't want them to kill me. Normally, we're not going to be pretty... We're not going to be too aggressive with this fleet. But, like, it's, it's a valid fleet. It's there. Just doesn't have named units in it. And I don't want them to till, to take my planet. It's not cake. Not cake or till. I'm not good at speaking right now. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, so let's put in our carrier there. And let's drop in some right Sabaoth frigates. Down. We'll put in an Ox Hulk. Got some Providences. And we do have a lot of diamonds, so I might actually ship these over. Because I'd been... Well, if they survive this battle. I'd been talking about wanting more anti-fighter in that eastern fleet. So I am going to probably move those over. So let's try to kill some of these guys. And bombers go back there. So like auxiliary hulk though it may be, the fighters and bombers out of this guy are still just as good. So that's going to give us, even with less pop cap usage, that's going to give us uh, greater fighter control. So in some ways, having that set up can be more helpful, though it does mean that you are not going to put out the beating that your more dedicated friends would. But luckily, we have these three little guys in the back who are more than happy to make up for any limitations that we might have. So we've got our own dreadnought, but okay, that's a that is a waste of proton torpedoes. I I hate to say it. Okay, let's uh let's get you three over on this guy because our bombers are probably going to do a good enough job of taking down this first one. Well, the Sabbath frigates you can also pop on power to weapons. I don't know if I should have you closer to the fleet tenders, but we're living the life that we've been given. Uh, East apps. Let's get the East Apps onto here. Okay, that Sabbath frigate is probably dying. But all these little frigates are winning on this side. I don't think we need to get over there for the bomber, so I'm actually going to use the diamonds on their anti fighter. Because if those get too close to our bombers, like if our bombers go too close on a pass, then that is going to be a bigger problem for us than any of their remaining fighters, I think. Alright, we've actually still got the shields on this guy, which I am pretty impressed by. It's getting a raise. And you guys are going to keep going on these Carrick... These little Carrick guys. All right, there's the two Invincibles. So we've got to be getting close to the end of their Invincibles. They have a, a Fleet Commander Invincible. That, did we kill that last time, actually? I think that, I think that might be dead. So they'll, they'll be able to maybe get a few more of those. But... On the whole, we should just be dealing with Venator's victories and that kind of thing in the capital department for the foreseeable future. Which, I don't know how much of a future the Republic has after some of this. 
Like, I'm planning to do this campaign to the... to the bitter end. But... We're making good progress. Like, it, it was a it was a struggle earlier on, but I think we're starting to get our footing. They're, they're still taking some important planets from us. Like, losing Deconiamoidia, I don't love. And we're probably not going to take Ariadu off of this. So, really taking out the structures here is just to make them have to rebuild them. But considering our economies are kind of on par, uh, this is still, what, 10 grand plus in structures, especially before, since this is before the, the structure price adjustment that was done in the hotfixes, because this is pre-release. So as much as I'm going to be sad about paying that on Decanemoidia, we're making them pay it here. It all it all balances out. I'm not gonna say my catchphrase. Like at this point, if I did put anything on a shirt, it, it has to be it's fine. And I mean, I do kind of miss streaming these playthroughs, but we're gonna have the community challenge coming up soon. So uh, I'm going to be gone for a few days again uh, at the start of August. So I'm trying. I'm going to be trying to get ahead on this and the... like. I, I want to maybe record the rest of this playthrough before I leave, as well as the, the first bit of the Imperial playthrough, which will start uh, this week. So the first episode of that should be coming out this week, at least. Uh, hopefully. There's still some organization that always has to be done with that. But uh, those two, like this and the Imperial playthrough, will run together once this is done and once I'm home. Then we'll be starting the uh, the Community Challenge playthrough, which is where like the only units I'm allowed to use are the the named ones. So it's a mix of patron named ones, the Twitch sub named ones, and channel member named ones. But also uh, there's... A, a pool of like just general community submitted ones from any viewers on YouTube because uh, it's nice as it can get more people involved with that and that playthrough will be fully streamed the theme for it uh, I think I might have talked about it in a video already but uh, Mr. Puerto Rican came up with the suggestion of just doing like a roulette wheel for ships to use so it should it should end up with a with a nice fun mix so when I get home, one of the first videos I'm going to be working on, other than getting the release out for Throne's Revenge, because I need to do the release video for that and finish the release for that. But aside from that, it'll be the Community Challenge ship selection, and then we'll we'll do that as all live streams. So that should be a fun one as well. Okay, but now they're, they're not going to be able to get to, to that. And I think... This might actually work out best if we just blockade them, because they're not—they're not using a hypervelocity gun in Ariadu. I don't think I saw one. And we're getting back to take on Eomoidia. You're upgrading. I should Advancing. upgrade you as well. We're Advancing. still putting together that fleet. Okay, then these two we're going to Geonosis, and we're going to Rathana. You didn't have a hyperblast again, though. No. Okay. Uh, you're still building the banking clan one, and I might actually build. No, I'm just gonna focus on increasing the banking clan favor. How's our? What are our missions looking like? Strengthen defenses. Oh, one of those got canceled, so I'm gonna have to. Building it was heavy factories, right? Yeah, heavy factory. We're getting two on Denon. That's the first one. Okay, that should be easily within reach. And now Severance. Oh, I need to get you out of there. So I need to remember to take them out. Well, now we know where Severance is after losing track of her last time. Uh, 
I'm listening. Of course, Okay, there were a lot of bikes. So, let's put in something that's not going to be afraid of the bikes. And I'll get some droidicas to help her. That's a bold move for them. So I'm going to send one of these guys each direction. You go up there. You go up there. I'm sure it just and needs you know what? You can go and get us the hidden factory. We've lost a build pad. I don't think we need the Hamels. Once we have Be that enough. factory, let's make sure we're actually in range for it. And I guess that's the smartest way to go. I'm listening. Because these AATs can help over here. And then Severance is just not alone. That's the important part, not setting her alone against the bikes. Because they are going to try to rush. They don't have any structures to defend. And the MTT is coming. Let's get up to that. Okay, let's get you. Uh, Severance, 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 Severance. Go and use your blasting ability. Unit oh, okay. I need to get out of there. Now, knock him away. What's that? Oh, that's why. Okay, artillery, artillery got him. Okay, just uh, stop and stop and blast, I guess. Get over there. Oh, they were also okay. I, I see what happened then. It wasn't just the artillery; it was the ATAP. Okay. Um. Ooh. I don't like the bikes. Uh, Severance, can you come back this way? Okay, you need to take those out with you. Severance, just uh, use your abilities to get through there as fast as you can. And we need to get to this. So, artillery. Let's get some of you. And I think we need more infantry of our own. Okay, I just need to make sure that Severance is... Not getting biked on. Okay, let's get them through there, and let's get Severance out of here. Registering noise. Negative. I'm I let Ventress die to a bug, but I will protect Severance more, more intently. Okay, you guys have got to just run over there. I'm sure it displeases your organization in this. All right. That worked. Now, Severance, you can get that. Battle droids move forward, and... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, well, that, that's, that's fair enough. Deserved it. Okay, I don't think those are going to kill her. I just need to keep an eye on her health bar. 
Make sure the turret isn't going to kill her either. I can probably grab that landing zone though too. There we go. All right. Give Severance a chance to to relax. This wasn't great for our units. Yeah, I probably would have had more success if I had kept them together. Like this is not a real unit. Don't worry about it. And is that going to be it? Right, it technically isn't. What else is there? Oh, you're not you're not killing my artillery. I hate to tell you this, it just did not happen. System conquered. Building under oh, this is mine. Building started. And you are not part of this fleet. Okay, I'm gonna move you back there. And where is Gunray? Gunray is. Building started. Constructing things on there. We're gonna send you maybe just a, a quick trip back through. No. Moving out. Balmor is not gonna be ready for him. I do want to separate some of these forces. So that's up there. And Deconiamoidia. They'll give us tactical droids, but I am Building started. Building started. That. Then you can go back to Balmora. Advancing. Because I do want to get Balmora maxed out. So that'll mean a. Building started. Why are you? Let's go back to Denali. Well. Okay, so what are we actually looking at down here? Rathana, not the most defended. But it does have a hyper velocity gun. It has a level three shipyard. Geonosis level four has a. It has two praetors. But I was actually expecting a bit worse. As far as everything else goes. So we don't really have the means to take out Camino. But if I. You know what, I'm actually going to send all of you down there, except for you. Complete. I don't need to keep all of you together. We don't need all complete. those heroes. Okay, we've completed increasing strength and defenses. I'll open that again in a second when it's cleaned up itself a little bit. And you guys are going to the south. Like, Grievous is also in that way. fleet. I need to remember that. Because I haven't been using Grievous in space. And I can almost get him to malevolence. So, ooh, that'd actually be pretty choice. What do I have Grievous in right now? I have him in Renator. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Flank speed. Uh, but you Building first. Started. Building started. Well, I don't need that here. Construction complete. And what is our mission? Increasing production. I do need to do the Bulwark fleet. On four Oster Solist. This is for the banking clan, that's perfect. We want two barracks. So I'm actually, I think I'm already doing that on Karita. Yeah, okay. So that's good. And Sullust, uh, we are gonna get the Research, research the Bulwarks. And I think I'll get the whole latching as well. Researching. No, I'll, I'll wait for that, because we don't need to... Research canceled. Don't need to do that. Did I already get my mercenary? No, I don't think I did. So I'm going to do that here. I was thinking of like when I recorded the the preview 
or not the preview, the release overview as having as having been me getting the mercenary, but that wasn't that wasn't how that worked. Okay, well. Let's get Sora in there. We got an HMP. This is going to be pretty easy, but it is another mine for us. So, I do like this map. We played on this a few times in this playthrough, and I, I've, uh, I've quite enjoyed it. Yes, Lord. Choose your reinforcements. I am one with the dark side. At your service. Right. The fight's not over. Uh, I don't actually think we... I don't know. Have we played on this specific iteration of it? I don't think so. A build pad. Show me the enemy. We've lost a build pad. Yes, I'll do my best. Okay, Sora, you're going to get that landing zone in a second. We've secured a landing zone. Check your targeting program. You're out of position. And then move over to there. So yeah, I think this actually is our first time on this iteration of the map, but I think it is a, a res like a, a slight alteration and reskin of the of the other boardwalk one. I am one with the dark side for the Sith. Okay, uh, I guess we'll send the HMP up there. You're gonna deploy on that, and we'll walk up the middle here. Then Grievous, HMPs, they can cover the, the infantry grounds there. Oh, that is shallow water? I don't like okay, my computer just made a chonking sound. Don't like that. There we go. Uh, get you through there. And I guess destroy the tax collection agency. But... Go through this side? And let's go around on that. Yeah, you got those. Probably a very difficult one to defend. They don't have, like, the, the most defensible setup. So, they don't have the most tools to defend. But still. Alright, they're... Oh, no. That's... That is AA. Thank God they did not... I If I just lost my first HMPs like that, I would have been... I would have cried on stream. Which I don't think I've ever done before. Not on stream. This is not being streamed. This is just a video. I would have cried on video. Uh, that puts us in a good position to go for Rathana. So what actually are we looking at for... Uh, for shipyards. There's Rathana, there's Geonosis, Hypori technically, Nalhada... There is Pamont and Moncal, which we're going to get Hypori and Pamont naturally. Anything in the north? No, because we got everything in the north. Then there's Kuat, Humberine, Rendili, Corellia. So there's those four. So yeah. Okay, that's still a sizable chunk. Building started. We're gonna get Rishi built up on those. And let's unit get in production. some of these. Constructing unit. Constructing what I really want unit. are the AATs. Uh I should get some barracks down here as well though. Is your full up Okay. And I am going to get these guys another army of their own, too. How are you set up? 
I don't think you need anything else right now. Those will take a, a little bit of time to build. Where else do we want to send you, though? Like, what's the best place Building to send you right now? De back to Deco Neomoidia? Yeah, because we can queue up another station level. Advancing. And then you should be ready to go to Balmora right after. Actually, yeah, that, that makes sense. That's good. Because we can finish off Balmora's building. You got a construction, attacks... No. Construction, so you need an economic and a defense station. But we'll wait till we have the goal in two to build up the defense station. And then you can go to Corelli. Okay. I have a plan. It wouldn't be the worst idea to go to Barlock, but I think we'll need another army troops. before I do that. So, are there any other production facilities up here that I already have? So let's get two of you. Unit in production. And I'm actually going to get two Vehicle AACs in instead production. of those. J1, Magna, unit. and that. Okay. Once that's ready, we're going to send this fleet down through Barlock. Construction Increase in production has been done. And those went to Pantora. I'll throw them into this fleet. How is our opinion on that? Banking Clan 65. So I'm going to do... I don't have the money. Never mind. Construction complete. Uh, is Grievous... Yeah, Grievous is in the... in the area. So... Let's go to Rathana? Before they build up more in space. Like, all their planets are separated here. But they can build more at Rathana. So if we take it now, at least take it in space, then they can't reinforce it. And that'll leave Kamino's uh, static force. Choose your reinforcements. All right, Renner. Ooh, no, I don't want you in first. I want same-day shipping in first. It won't be long. Then I want Renner. I don't really need Trench and Grievous in the same fleet. Uh, we'll Let's get the go. Spork. We got Iron Hands on deck. We have no refunds. We have basically an SSD. We have Sabaoth Warlord Star, and we have... Ooh, what's this? Out. Like, I was kind of hoping to get the Anti-Fighter in for this, but then I just completely forgot to move in from the other fleet and thought I wouldn't need the time to... or wouldn't have time to build it up. So, that's on me. I think they had a hypervelocity gun. Open fire. Weapons ready. Reporting. The Stay on those, Enemies those fighters in, and I'm actually just going to send you straight in. Okay, now stop on that. Target locked. Reporting in. I call, babe. What is it, my Okay, Belbelab, Grievous. It's kind of like a Barbie. All his accessories. But he is hopefully going to be able to do some fighter damage for us. I just need to make sure that these anti fighter ships don't clear us out. And I don't have the most accuracy against them with anything. So let's actually do it with that. And we'll keep, uh, we'll keep Grievous and no refunds on that. Like, this fleet might actually be okay against Kamino. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing. Like, there's a... Luke or Hulk, you're there. You are perfect for killing... For killing those anti-fighter. Uh-oh. That's sad. Okay, unfortunately we had a crash there. Uh, I have replayed the battle to basically the same place, except instead of using Grievous, I shook things up a little bit, and I used Trench. Uh, I just kind of wanted the extra fighters for it. And I did almost lose basically an SSD, but it's uh, 
other than that, I think it went more smoothly. They did use the hypervelocity gun this time, which I don't think they did in the first try. Uh, but we are about to make our final run on the station. So let's get all of our bombers over there. And we are flying through a bunch of fighters, but I don't think they're dangerous at this point. Like, we've got a good amount of our own fighters. And they're going to get shredded by uh, by the lasers on same-day shipping. So it's into the Valor. And into the shipyard after that as well. So that that's dead. Attacking! And I, so I'm kind of tempted to get a stimulus package for the Commerce Guild so we can have Pimont, but I feel like we're we're going to get a mission at some point for the Commerce Guild. Uh, we'll get a mission or two for their other outstanding planets, because I think they have two still. Karima, right. And I think it's just Karima, because I think we already got to beam, but... The banking clan, we're not really getting any planets out of, uh, but they are the ones that I want to max out. So that's why I'm focusing on uh, on the banking clan with any of the uh, any of the stimulus packages that I do buy. And that's why I was so happy to get them as the mission one. Even though they're not going to get us another planet because we've already taken all their territory, they are still they are still the ones I want. Ooh. The ones that I belong to. Ooh. And, like, with with us having Rishi and Rathana now, we only need this fleet to stay in position down here. And I think it's actually pretty well positioned to take out the dual praetors on Geonosis. So, even if I'm not as confident in taking out Kamino just yet, uh, I think Geonosis we want to go to sooner than later, because much like the Rathana situation, they're going to be more able to build additional support at Geonosis than they are at, uh, at Kamino. Like, I'm more worried about what they'll put together at Geonosis than Kamino at this point. So I should save properly, but I think that actually is going to do it for today's episode. So Geonosis will probably be our focus next time. They do have a hypervelocity gun there and a Dreadnought Shipyard. That's the thing to really be concerned about with that attack. But they don't have any interdiction, and I'm pretty happy with what this fleet's going to be able to do. So we'll probably take Rathana on the ground and then move on over to Geonosis. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you are enjoying the series so far, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.